Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we are specifically going to talk about um, Spelljammer Adventures in Space and how what a powerful job it do, is, do, is doing in presenting racial harmony and, inclus- and racial inclusivity in the Dungeons & Dragons community and in the tabletop role-playing game community today. So, so basically, I am just blown away. I, I, you know, five out of five stars. I absolutely love uh, Spelljammer Adventures in Space. I think it's, it's, I think it's, it is by far the best setting, the best setting product because it's not a book. It's a collection of three books, and a slipcase, and a map, and a dungeon master guide that is realm specific. Right? It is, it is just like if you were to hold up Spelljammer Adventures in Space and hold up the Eberron book. Right, like that thing needs to walk home in shame, you know, as as Spelljammer takes the podium. Right, Eber, the Eberron setting book, it is a canon Dungeons and Dragons book, but it is utter junk compared to like I don't think you're never going to be able to get away with the Eberron setting book again. Like you give me a 256 six page splat book, you know, and like and it's got an adventure in it that I gotta you know that uh, that I can't hand the book to my. Pl- it's just it's we're never we're never going to be able to get away with you know, one setting book and a splat book again, right? This, this is the new standard for quality when it comes to settings, right? This is how a setting is honored, right? With a, uh, a realm specific dungeon master screen, an amazing slip cover, an amazing map, a, a individual, you know, 64 page adventure, individual monster manual, realm specific monster manual and realm specific guide to the major concepts of the, of the realm incredible. It's just, it is absolutely amazing. But Spelljammer does so much more than that, right? One, so you, you you know, if you've been watching my channel, I get excited about specific books, right? Uh, you ain't never heard me say two, like, two words about Monsters of the Multiverse. It's, it's a junk book that could be skipped, right? But but Strixhaven, huge, impacted the, the Dungeons & Dragons community deeply, right? Changed the game, right? Uh, changed everything about Dungeons & Dragons, right? And one of the reasons why was it said, hey, the multiverse is real. Like, this is a magical school where we are training wizards, and these wizards can gate and take people all over the realms. And you will hear reviewers talk about Strixhaven and they'll go, hey, the thing about that's cool about Strixhaven is logically every single realm that exists in Dungeons & Dragons and by, and, and by Forgotten Realms, by directional... Uh, state of being in the MTG, in the MTG realm, to be of it being a, an MTG realm and a Dungeons and Dragons book by extension, every MTG realm as well, right? Every single race, every single backstory, every single um, class can show up in Strixhaven and then be and then jet out to all the other realms, right? Well, spell and but here's the issue, right? That was for casters, right? What if you're a martial class? What if you're not a caster? And what if you're a caster who, you know, what if you're a sorcerer who learned their magic on their own world and never was, you know, was classically trained at Strixhaven, right? Well, that's the great thing about, about Spelljammer is it's saying, hey, every D&D realm, every MTG realm, every Fortnite realm, every Star Wars realm, every Marvel realm, every DC realm, all D&D canon, Right? Um, every Lord of the Rings realm, every Doctor Who realm, every Warhammer 40k realm, all D&D canon, right? You can spell jam to them, right? And you don't need uh, a noble background. You don't need to have been classically trained in your arcane, your um, your divine or your primal magical sources. Anyone can go anywhere in the D&D multiverse, right? And and every race and class can show up here. Now, why is that important? Well, how does that bring racial inclusivity and racial harmony? It says, hey, you dungeon master, you told that person they can't be a tiefling in your game. You said in this game, all we have is Tolkien's races, humans, dwarves, elves. You are a repugnant, prejudiced, unworthy dungeon master. It's saying, hey, your, your stuff is not canon. Your stuff doesn't matter. Your stuff is prejudiced and does not make sense in the Dungeons and Dragons world. You got some splaining to do, Lucy, right? That's the issue, right? They're saying, hey, your repugnant prejudice does not belong here. 
Now, what's interesting is, why didn't they just say it flat out and say, hey, you are not allowed to be a race exclusionist dungeon master, right? Why didn't they say that flat out? Well, this is America, baby. Dungeons and Dragons was made by Gary Gygax, an American hero, right? And in America, we, liberty and freedom matter. You have the liberty and you have the freedom to be a prejudiced, repugnant, disgusting dungeon master. Dungeons and Dragons is never going to take that that freedom from you. They're never going to take that liberty from you. They're going to say, when you do this, it is no longer canon. It doesn't make sense. And there is book after book after book cluing your players into the fact that you are a repugnant, prejudiced, unworthy dungeon master and what you're doing is wrong. But they're doing it in the right way. Because frankly, if you, in case you don't know, if you don't want Americans to do something, the fastest way to get them to do it is tell them they can't. <laughs> 420. I'll tell you that, right? Like, and I think, I think I, the 420 thing is interesting. I, I think people are, people are, now that people, now that it's been like decriminalized, I think people are, are uh, all over the United States, it's worse, right? Like, you know, like basically there's no faster way to, to make Americans want to do something than to tell them they can't, right? So, so basically, Dungeon, so Spelljammer takes racial inclusivity and racial harmony and puts it in the hands of the players and saying, so wait, if I go over to Sally's, I can play a tiefling, I can play a dwarf, I can play a turtle. But here, under your, your, your disgusting, prejudice, limited, restrictive, unworthy dungeon mastering that doesn't match the canon, right? It, the Dungeons and Dragons itself is pointing a finger at you and saying, hey, you race exclusionist, your crap doesn't belong here. You're going to need to explain it to your players. And there is going to be a drumbeat of books on the shelf at the FLGS, at Target, and available through Amazon that says you suck and that your stuff doesn't match canon. That's it. That's my humble opinion. What's yours? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.